Jonathan King from theclinchreport.com and pugilpicks.com. I am here with the supernova from Moldova, Marina Shafir, who just finished her last sparring session before her bout on August 10th against Amanda Bell. Marina, how are you? I'm great. Second fight coming up. First one went exactly the way you wanted. How's the second one going to go? Exactly the way I want. <laughs> you heard it here first. Nice, short, and sweet. Now, this fighter, what do you know about your opponent? I know she's kind of a grappler and kind of a striker, and she's a little bit big for the weight, which is all good because I've been sparring people that are bigger and smaller also, which are faster, so I'll be ahead the whole time. Now, your judo game comes into play. It came into play in your last game. Um, you've been concentrating a lot on your stand-up. Is stand-up something that you're looking to focus on, or if the takedown's there, are you, you're going to exploit it? Um, we'll see. I mean, I can't ever, like... I have a feeling, but I don't want to talk about it because I don't want to jinx it. But I, you know, but it's always going to be in a situation of my control. Whether it is striking, I'm going to be a good striker. If it, she wants to get to, get down and gritty on the ground, I'll be ahead of her in the grappling game too. So I don't know if it's anything that I want to focus on. I just want to focus on performing well. Now, you watching you spar, you seem really content on your feet you feel very confident on your feet with your hands um, counter punching is that something that you, you, you're getting used to seeing the punches coming better and you're you're working on firing off the punches yes yeah that vision is there um, I'm seeing it way way more and I'm reacting it reacting to it uh, way more my impulses are stronger to react like when I see a punch coming from a certain direction and uh, yeah I guess it's kind of what we've been focusing on, but just for like a short period of time. And I just kind of went through that chapter of training and then we kept moving on to another thing. You know, you can't keep working on the same thing every day because, I mean, you can, but like in this kind of game, you can't. You have to keep your wings spread open and your eyes open for all the new stuff that's going to be in the cage. Now, you moved out from Albany, New York. You're living out here. You live in Venice Beach with Rhonda. You have a, a, a very, very famous crew that you, you work with, um, four horsewomen. Sorry, I had to do that on camera. Um, what's it like chaining with these sharks? They're not sharks, they're little tadpoles. They're not, they're not vicious at all, like, I don't know. They're, they're, they become my sisters, they become my family out here, and um, it's motivating. It, you can't, like, every, there's so many angles, like Jess is the little, game playing little geek but she's so big and beautiful and like you don't imagine her just being a gamer you know and a fighter and a striker and then Shayna I never thought she'd be so boasty and like so cocky all the time and then I knew Rhonda since I was 12 so but I don't know it's it's been an experience and an experience that I don't want to end I think we we're gonna be influencing MMA a lot with our group and that mindset that we have as a group because that is not in MMA right now. You have gyms and that have teams, but they don't really like, you don't see any like true camaraderie within those teams, you know, empowering other people. Like we're doing, we're, we wanna do more seminars together. And I don't know, I wanna see more of that, like kind of like in the comic books where you have like a super team and then another super team. Yeah, you guys are kind of like the old pride days when you had the hammer house shoot box rivalries where they, yeah. One guy goes down, everybody comes piling in the ring. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and it's also like the pro wrestling mentality. Like sometimes you just have to band together with a group of people in order to get what you want. And that's kind of what's happened here. So I'm happy about it. Well, pro wrestling mentality, here's your chance. You can take the microphone from me. Look into that camera. Okay. Tell Armbar Nation and your fans <laughs> what they can expect on August 10th. August 10th, Armbar Nation. You guys are going to be putting hopefully another armbar under the nation. <laughs> that was lame. I'm terrible on the mic. I don't know. Shayna, Shayna should be holding this because she's the best at it. I'm like, if I was a pro fighter, I would be, who would she I be? Needs, yeah, she I need you. Cutting a promo. They gave me the mic and I didn't know what to do. Okay. So you know Shayna is going to, Shayna is going to look in the camera and she's going to cut the promo for Marina. August 10th, 
What can Armbar Nation and the fans expect from Marina Shafir? Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Shayna Baszler, and I am the advocate for the supernova from Moldova, Marina Shafir. And what you can expect on August 10th, chaos at the casino, is Marina Shafir is going to wreck house with Amanda Bell. And ladies and gentlemen, that's not a prediction, that's a spoiler. <laughs> Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Jonathan King from theclinchreport.com and pugilpicks.com. I'm here with Marina Shafir. Special appearance by the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. Don't forget August 10th, Chaos in the Casino. Make sure you get your tickets now.